Tonight, hundreds of East Texans gathered at church for a study on safeguarding their sanctuaries, led not by a pastor, but an FBI agent in Tyler. KETK's Frank Jefferson was there tonight. He joins us now live to share what was said. Frank. Casey, the name of the event was protecting houses of worship and they were actually passing out papers like this and this paper actually has a whole bunch of stats on it. And one of the stats that jumped out to me was that almost 80% of churches that are attacked have little or no security at all. Hundreds of people gathered at Green Acres Baptist Church in Tyler, all with one goal in their hearts and on their mind, protecting their flock. While people can come in here and worship, you've got a safety and security team that will be protecting them so they can worship and enjoy the service, not to worry about threats that are outside. The East Texas Church Coalition brought in an FBI special agent to present the facts. When it comes to defending their congregation, Collins believes all churches should take a proactive approach. I think that it would be wise to go ahead and just you want to uh, have someone watching the back door. And so just don't uh, just don't think that you're so small it won't happen. Take a, take a small step, even if it's a small step, and do something to protect the congregants in your church. One of the biggest reasons this seminar is even happening is because of a mass church shooting that happened here in Texas just three years ago. 26 members of Sutherland Springs Church were killed, including their pastor's own daughter. Local church leaders say this isn't the time to be patient. The one time you're not looking and a shooter does appear or something does happen, then it's too late. You, we can't wait until it's too late. We've got to be prepared. Preparation that will help church members worship in protection and peace. There were multiple sign-in sheets at, at, the, at the event that actually had people where they, could, where they could put their information down and they can get on this email list where they can get even more details on how to protect houses of worship. Live in Tyler, Frank Jefferson, KETK News.